Hello everybody, welcome to Monsoon Awareness Week, which this year runs from June 14th through June 19th. Remember, monsoon season every year is from June 15th through September 30th. Now the uh, National Weather Service offices in the desert southwest are involved with Monsoon Awareness Week. And the offices in El Paso, Albuquerque, and Midland will be handling the topics for Monsoon East, and that is basically New Mexico and southwestern Texas. The topics, well, today we start with the introduction along with some science involved with the monsoon. Tomorrow will be flash flooding and flash flood safety. That'll be followed by lightning, downburst winds, dust storms, often referred to as haboobs, and then heat stress. Now many are still surprised that we refer to our summer thunderstorm season as the monsoon. Well it's true because if you look at the glossary of meteorology by the American Meteorological Society, the monsoon is a seasonal wind first applied to the Arabian Sea but in uh, several parts of the world we refer to that seasonal wind change as the monsoon and in the desert southwest it uh, ends up with uh, giving us half of our or actually more than half of our annual rainfall crammed into less than four months so it is significant our version is the North American monsoon system uh, mainly affecting the desert southwest it is centered in Mexico extends northward uh, sometimes the monsoon flow can affect uh, northern areas like Idaho, Montana, but primarily it's a desert southwest thing. Now the pattern before the monsoon is a westerly flow. You experience that mainly in the spring and early summer, and for the most part it's generally dry, very low humidities, fire season uh, peaks during this period, and yet this year's a little different. We have a strengthening El Nino, and the El Nino pattern results in more eastern Pacific hurricanes than normal, and that contributes to more moisture than normal this time of year. We've already seen that with two eastern Pacific hurricanes leading up to the monsoon. So the actual monsoon setup, part of it is the upper level high pressure system which has clockwise flow and that clockwise flow can bring up the moisture from Mexico into the desert southwest. Now it's a mid-level moisture plume. If that's all you've got, and this is often what occurs early in the monsoon, well just mid-level moisture gives you high based thunderstorms. A lot of the rainfall evaporates before reaching the ground because there's still dry air lower near the ground. Now that could give you dry lightning and gusty winds with very little rainfall. That's not good for the uh, fire danger. Um, the upper high position, by the way, can vary so that plume of moisture can vary. If you have the upper high further west where the moisture plume is going to be more over Arizona and southeastern California, you'll see it go back and forth during the summer. Uh, now, for the deeper moisture, you need the low level moisture in addition to the mid level moisture and you get that when the uh, summer heating leads to a thermal low uh, along the Colorado River and the lower deserts of Arizona California also the heating of the Colorado Plateau that will draw in that low level moisture from the Gulf of Mexico the Gulf of California and the tropical eastern Pacific and when you get the deep moisture that's when you get your heavy rainfall that we're so familiar with in uh, mainly July and August but it can start in late June and it can extend well into September. Now remember the monsoon is not a storm. You'll hear folks now and then say wow the monsoons will be rolling in this afternoon. Well, that, no 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 the thunderstorms will be forming because of the moisture that has been brought in with the monsoon flow pattern. Get that right. Okay, now tomorrow we'll learn about a frequent hazard during the monsoon, the flash flood, sometimes dangerous, occasionally deadly. 
and it's something that you really want to know about, especially with the safety tips. So tune in with tomorrow's subject. Don't forget.